Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to learn the atomic mass and atomic number or charge of some of the important particles that we will be studying or coming across while studying nuclear reactions of nuclear chemistry. So these are the particles that we are going to uh, understand in this video. So let us first write down the atomic mass and charges of the elementary particle. What are the elementary or fundamental particles? These are the particles that are present in each and every atom that we see. Okay, which are the three fundamental particles? We all know that electron, proton and neutron. Okay, electron, proton and neutron. Okay, let us first write down their symbols. How do you represent them? Electron is written as E, proton is P and neutron is N. Okay, if there is any element X, what is the general notation? As a superscript we write A, A is the atomic mass. Okay, this we had already seen in the previous video. And Z is what? Z is the atomic number. Or here we might refer it to as charge. Okay, if we talk about electron, what is the exact mass of an electron? We know it is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kg. Okay, this is very small. So, we assume that the mass is how much? It is negligible. That is, we consider it to be zero while writing the, while writing the nuclear reactions. And what is the charge of an electron? Minus 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb. So, this is negative. So, we write minus 1. Proton, what is the mass? We consider it to be 1, that is unity. And what is the charge? Plus 1. So, you can see the charge of electron is minus, that is why we call electron as a negatively charged particle. And proton charge is positive, that is why we call it as a positively charged particle. And neutron is what? It is neutral. Okay, no charge. And what is the mass? Mass is 1, charge is 0. And there is another particle that is called as positron. Okay, how do you represent that? It, it is written as E, small e, just like electron. It also does not have any mass. But what is the charge of a positron? Proton is, electron is minus 1, positron is plus 1. Okay, it is different from proton. Why? Proton has mass, but positron does not have mass. Okay, so now let us talk about the isotopes of hydrogen. Okay, that are sometimes we see isotopes of hydrogen in nuclear reactions. So, what are isotopes? Elements having elements having same atomic number but different mass number. Different mass number. What are the three isotopes of uh, isotopes of hydrogen? Hydrogen has three isotopes. Okay, one is protium, another is deuterium, and the third one is tritium. What are the symbols? This is capital P, capital D, and capital T. And what are their atomic symbols? This is normal hydrogen with atomic mass is 1 and atomic number is also 1. What is deuterium? Mass Mass is atomic mass number is 2, atomic number is 1. Tritium, again atomic number will be same because they are isotopes and mass is 3. So, if I talk about the electron, proton and neutron in all these three species, this one has atomic number 1. So, there will be 1 electron and there is 1 proton. Okay, there will be 0 neutron in this. 0 neutron. Here, we have 1 electron. So, there will be 1 proton. And there will be one neutron because this is what? This is the sum of proton plus neutron. Atomic mass number is sum of proton plus neutron. This one has a one electron. Tritium has one electron, one proton and two neutron. Okay, so these are the isotopes of hydrogen. Okay, so now let us talk about some other particles like what is an alpha particle. Okay, what is an alpha particle? Alpha particle is nothing but a helium nuclei. Okay, alpha particle is represented as sign. This sign is called as alpha. Okay, what is the atomic number of helium? 2. 
and mass number is 4. Then what is beta particle? Okay, beta particle is nothing but it is represented as symbol beta and it is nothing but it is electron with mass 0 and charge is minus 1. Then what is a gamma ray? Okay, gamma ray is nothing but it is an electromagnetic radiation. Okay, it is an electromagnetic radiation. What is the meaning of an electromagnetic radiation? It is one of the radiation of the electromagnetic spectrum. If you see, you, re you remember there is visible light, then there is infrared, okay, then there is microwaves and then we have radio waves. Okay, if we go above visible light, that is higher energy ones, they are, first is ultraviolet, then we have x-rays and then we have gamma rays. This is the gamma rays that I am talking about and then we have cosmic rays. Okay, so what will be the mass and atomic number of gamma rays? It is an electromagnetic radiation, so there will be no mass and no charge. So, here we come to the end of this video. In the next video, we will see what changes occurs to the atomic number as well as the atomic mass number when we do, let's say, a loss of alpha particle or a loss of beta particle or a loss of positron or an electron capture. During these processes, what happens to the atomic number and atomic mass number? Thank you so much.